Hey everyone, it's Darkly Cole here. We're going to be playing on part one on Horror Monday, Resident Evil 3 Remake. Let's get on with the game. Uh, let's see, assist. I'm not new to the RE series. I mean, assault rifle? No. Hardcore. Let's do standard. Now, this has got no mods in it, so this is the first time I'm playing this game. May on next play throw up do mod, but for now let's do the standard play. And no, I did not buy the DLC either for the in-game weapon, so I'm starting with the normal weaponry. This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. A citywide emergency has been declared. The CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern Officials region of the U.S. Well, there goes Raccoon City, thanks to the Umbrella Corporation. Honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. A bunch of, us a mutant-making, thinking freaks. It's this foundation that will continue to build. Brighter future for all of us. Brighter future for all of us or for you as you're developing Nemesis? I wonder if they'll ever have a fight where it's uh, let's see, Mr. X versus Nemesis. I'd like to see that. Okay, we must be Jill Valentine. I wonder if this was a prototype. I, the way they got this POV was for the prototype for Village, which is coming out. I just don't know when. I think 2021, 2022, I don't know. I'd be excited to play Village. Yeah, I don't want the rain coming in. Can't do anything in first person view. I don't think I have the fan just like that doing that whenever it strolls by. Let's see. Well, we can't leave. These I can't get into my fridge. And we're just going to turn the sink off, I guess. That's not good. Why are we drip blood? Is Jill infected? I <laughs> joke infected.
Why would you leave your gun in the bathroom? And now we're dead. I guess it was just a dream. Fucking hell. Hell indeed. Get out of here now! What's going on out there? Look, an old CRTV. You'll see those nowadays. Jill's report. It's already been two months since the, that mess with Umbrella. Thanks to the su suspended investigation, has not progress exactly as I hope. Perhaps the written record of what I found will prove to be my final duty as a STARS officer. I can only hope that it helps to lead to the truth. Those affected by the virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be commute commutable via several different avenues outlined below. Bites from infected individual allowing the mixture of bodily fluids Contact with crows which have eaten infected carriers. Due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. It's unclear whether this is because the virus has a long in incubation period or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection. We ought to remain vigilant even after the investigation period ends. As for me, aside from my minor difficult sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I couldn't. I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could be just an extended incubation. Oh, joy. Pharmaceutical company in lead in market shares. Focus on military weapon development while maintain cover as a pharmaceutical company. Also secretly developing bioweapons. A T-virus outbreak at Mountain Research Facility predicted the mansion incident. Yeah, that was in Resident Evil Zero, which I tried to play the remake of it, but I just I couldn't handle the tank control, so I didn't even try it. Cons Conspire with Raccoon City leadership. Large donation to Mayor Warren's office. Effectively controlled the city. Unsealed envelope. They got me pinned down at home. Guys across the street watch me from their window 24-7. Are they Iron Man? Umbrella? I don't know. And there's no difference anyway. I know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down. Torment into compliance and it's working. I'm barely eating. Barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. But I won't let them win. I had to get out of the scene. Find a way to make them accountable. They'll send someone to silence me, of course. If they hear that I've been killed or whatever it is they do to people like me... You must pick up the investigation where I left off. I have closed my files. They'll tell you everything you need to know as long as the package isn't intercepted. I'll be moving out at night. Five days. Wish me luck. Let me know. Was that the reporter that Mr. X killed? Hey, Hasha, how are you holding up? I still can't believe Iron suspended you. It's just BS. He ought to be he ought to pin a mail on you for making it out of the hellhole back in June. July. Of course, you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I heard you're not, ma you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars was the pride of the force. When the chief disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Word has it you're planning to leave Raccoon Sea. I figured you wouldn't take the suspension lying down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by, so won't sit by while you try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. Brian Vickers, Star Stars Alpha Team, now and forever. P.S. I just left this note to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large meat, le extra large mega meat supreme. It's on me and the guys. Okay. Yummy pizza. This is a piled up. Oh, I can open the fridge. Raccoon milk. That's funny. Can I leave? Nope, still can't leave.
There's a light switch. There it is. Still normal, it looks like. Let's keep it that way. Alright, so now we're in third person view now. Shoot, you gotta be kidding me! Nemesis! Move it! Get the heck out of there! That's not gonna do anything! Move it, move it, move it! That's not gonna hold him. Whoa! That was close. That's not gonna hold him. Yeah, stars. No thanks. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! No, no, no! I know where this is gonna come. Tentacles lead to only one thing. Hey, get out of here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm out. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Time to move it! Oh, shoot! Move it, Jill, move it! He trapped himself. Let's go, let's go. And an achievement. First escape. Jill? Over here. Brad. You okay? What was that thing? Damn if I know. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. Am I my gun or not? Doesn't matter, I don't need it. I got people here, not zombies. I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arclay on steroids. But I can't run, I'm injured. Not good. In here. There's so many. Me when I gun. Oh. 
No. He's infected. Don't think about it. We're gonna make a run for it. Come on, Jill. We know how this ends. No, I don't. Are we still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! Yeah. I'm sorry, Brad. Gun. Ammo? Yep. Not much. Uh. Ah, that's useless. Should have shot the kneecaps. So I'll rescue you. Would you please calm down? I'm a police officer. I'm here to help. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you've been doing a bang up job. You wanna help? Go handcuff yourself to one of those freaks. No, thank you. Sir, this is your last chance. No one else is coming for you. I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone! Well, I tried. Oh, cool. Handgun ammo. Oh, that's not good. I don't like that. I'm not even gonna try. I don't wanna waste my ammo on this. Oh, shoot! Move it! I played RE2. Don't waste your ammo, needless. Let's fight. Whoa! Not good. Dang it. Go! Come on! I just got lucky with that knee shot. Alright, should be safe for now. Hopefully, there's no one down here. Oh, nope. Alright, he's gonna get me out of here. Oh, what the heck did that? There goes my ride. Oh, not Nemesis again. Come on, start! Come on, start, damn it! It's my turn, bitch! Yeah. Ah. Throw! 
Did I kill him? That must have. Nope. Dang. Whoa. So much for a rocket hitting them. Oh, that hit him. Time to get out of here. Hey, easy lady, I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? Carlos, and I'm saving you. Come on, let's get you someplace safe. Carlos. Our achievement, somebody to lean on. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. Not safe enough from that guy. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Oh, come on. Who's the dipshit to close this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, what do you know about that monster? Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? You don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Yeah, I'll follow. Come on, it's this way. Whew. Hey, now we made it. Fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. Shit, Captain. 
They really took a chunk out of you. Nothing that I will miss. Alright, that's gonna do it for this part. This is Demon Dark Recall. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll be back with more Resident Evil 3 on Horror Monday. See ya!